Hi, it's Matt. For only the fourth time ever, the European Space Agency has opened applications to become an astronaut. And this time round, they're inviting a much wider range of people to apply, because lots of the requirements you might expect aren't there. You don't have to be a pilot, young, American, or as fit as an Olympic athlete, and you can even apply if you've got a physical disability. So maybe you're eligible without even realising. Let's see. While NASA in the USA and Roscosmos in Russia might be the agencies you think of when it comes to human spaceflight, they're not the only ones. ESA, the European Space Agency, has had their own astronauts since the 1970s, but they haven't been open for applications since 2008. If you didn't know, I'm a massive spaceflight fan, and my inner child who wanted to be an astronaut is very excited that the chance has got that little bit closer for me, and even more close for some of my friends. Let's go through the requirements, and for comparison, I'll keep track of how eligible I am as I go. Firstly, this chance is only open for people with citizenship in one of 24 countries, the 22 ESA member states or the two associate states. I'll point out here that ESA and the EU are independent, they're completely separate organisations. As for professional qualifications, you have to have either a master's degree in medicine, engineering, maths, natural sciences or computer sciences, or be a qualified experimental test pilot or test engineer. And you'll need three years postgrad professional experience and to be fluent in English. There's no requirement to be a pilot, unlike in some programmes. Next are the physical requirements. You have to be under 50 years old, which is actually the largest age range I've seen in an astronaut selection. Last time the maximum age was in the late 30s. You must be able to get a class 2 private pilot medical certificate. You don't have to be a pilot, it's just fit enough to be one. This includes the eyesight as well, but you can wear glasses. Before Covid I'd actually started learning to fly and I'll need one of these certificates to continue doing it. So if I can get one in before the astronaut applications close, I might let you know how I get on as a comparison. You also need a normal weight BMI as defined by the WHO, good hearing, no dependency on drugs, alcohol or tobacco, no psychiatric disorders and a height between 150 and 190 centimetres tall to enable assignment to space missions using the current technology. Notice that while it's important to be healthy, ESA's not looking for extreme fitness or high-level athletes. The last set of requirements are based on what you'd end up doing as an astronaut, so you'd need to be comfortable with the following. Arduous physical exertion, swimming, parabolic flight training in the Vomit Comet, extensive underwater training. For spacewalks, they train underwater for full eight-hour days. Learning to drive if you can't already, teamwork under stress and risk management. They're understandably looking for people with specific traits, but this time the pool of people who can apply is a lot wider. There are two different application routes, astronaut and astronaut with a physical disability. Through the astronaut application process, they're looking for four to six career astronauts, and in another new move, a pool of 20 reserve astronauts. These reserve astronauts are going to come from everyone who successfully completed the full hiring process, but they won't be immediately recruited. They can keep the current job, but they'll be called in for specific missions if and when they come. This is intended for temporary or one-off stuff, for example, commercial missions, stuff that's over and above what ESA normally does on the ISS, or anything else that might crop up. ESA are the first space agency to have a per-astronaut feasibility project, and they've used Paralympic classifications as a basis. Both the astronaut and astronaut with physical disability have the same main requirements, but this new role allows people with lower limb deficiencies, leg length difference or short stature under 130 centimetres to apply to. They'll be conducting research into whether adjustments to space vehicles or space stations are needed or possible to fly safely. Do you want to apply? You've got until the 28th of May 2021. I'm too big and I'm not qualified enough, so you've got one less person in your way. Have a look in the video description below, I've put links to more information about the requirements, what the astronauts will be doing and how to apply. Thanks for watching, I'm Matt Gray Yes on all the socials, and if you want to buy my merch it's at shop.mattg.co.uk. Oh, I hope I got it right that time.